everyone thinks it's going to be so cool when we all are walking around with our virtual Google wallets and everything's on this virtual cashless society that's just run by computers. So this is what happened to me. My bank got a new, supposedly better, more awesome software for fraud detection. I started getting flagged for fraud every other five seconds. $60 purchase, I got flagged for a $22 purchase. I even got flagged at the grocery store. And it was a Saturday night, so I called my bank and they said, well, we're sorry about that. We clearly see that it's you. They wouldn't be able to do anything to take care of it until Monday. My kids just won't eat for a couple days. That's fine because they're saving you from fraud. Customer service was really careful to explain to me how this was a new, better, upgraded, spectacular fraud detection software than any other fraud detection software they had had previously. And it was just so great and wonderful. In the meantime, somebody tried to make a purchase off of my account for $1,300 in boots in Georgia at a place that only sells boots. I called the store. They don't sell other stuff. They just sell boots. So I'm flagged because I went two miles from my house, which they have my home address at my bank, and I bought eggs and milk. That's fraud. But somebody in Georgia, a state I've never been to, can walk into a place and buy $1,300 worth of boots. And the fraud detection system was like, la di da, that sounds good to me. And then I call the bank and ask why. I'm just trying to buy some eggs and milk. I get flagged at the grocery store. But somebody who I've never met can go to a state I've never been to and buy $1,300 worth of boots and their fancy schmancy new fraud detection system doesn't even blink and I said well why can't you just stop the payment it's gonna take several days anyway hit a button make it stop well it's in the system now it's all automated sorry we can't help you they knew crime was happening they knew something was being stolen you're just gonna have to wait till it goes through and then we'll give you your money back after they send the money to them and by the way where does all this double payment come from of course I guess we live in a country where they can just print as much money as they want to whenever they feel like and it doesn't really mean anything at all so this is what it's like when computers are gonna be running everything it's gonna be really really awesome we're gonna all be dependent on a computer for everything gee sounds swell and how you know that scene in the movie idiocracy where the lady tries to purchase french fries for her kids from the vending machine and there's not enough money on her card it declines her and then they come and take her kids away yeah that's pretty funny until that becomes what actually happens because even though all this stuff is virtual you can be damn well sure it's going to have real life consequences i've had some pretty strange encounters with debit card credit card authorization being flagged all online purchases i've ever tried to make never in the history of anything has that system caught actual fraud People have stolen my account through whatever means and helped themselves to computers and other luxury goods. Any of those fraud systems, my bank never caught any of that. Someone helped themselves to a seven, eight hundred dollar computer. I saw it immediately in my account. I didn't get a call from the Visa fraud system. The bank didn't catch it. I called up uh, the Microsoft company or maybe it was Dell, whoever it was. I didn't purchase this. You need to cancel this. They told me for my protection, of course, they couldn't reveal just exactly who had bought it. Well, I called back and just acted like I had bought it just so I could find out where it was being shipped to. And I was able to get that information from them, even though they were unwilling to be helpful with me and uninterested in stopping a fraudulent criminal purchase. I tried to have the criminal stolen goods delivery stopped. That company was uninterested in helping me stop that. They said there's nothing that could be done. It was already an automated system. Too bad. I called up my bank. They were unable to stop the payment because it was all automatic and electronic. I then called the police department because I had the address in California where the stolen computer was being shipped. That police department was unable to help me until my police department here in Texas uh, issued them a letter and asked them to investigate pretty much the case I had already figured out and solved. I I was not helped and instead received a letter that said they're very busy. Basically, they were not even going to pretend to try to solve the crime. No one in that system would help me. Who I said I was, who I could prove that I was, didn't matter. The system's wide open for criminality. All this authentication won't be just a guarantee that you're the one making your purchases. It's also going to be to hypercharge people and get them onto reservation-like scams. It's like the new Xbox they have that has a camera built into it and can motion sensor when other people come into the room. So if you stream a movie and say you got some friend that 
comes over and wants to watch it with you, they can suddenly double charge you based on how many people are physically in the room. It's insane. There was a whole two months where I basically couldn't even use my bank account at all. Think of how dependent a lot of us are on our plastic to make payments for basically anything. It's not just a little inconvenience. This is a difference between you being able to feed yourself and feed your family and have lights on in your house or be sitting in the dark starving. Because when they turn off your ones and zeros, there's just not anything you can do about it. That's the bottom line. And this is what they want to do to everybody. Think about what happens when it's not even a person anymore because they've just automated everything. It's so great, right? You don't have to carry that heavy wallet, which weighs all of like a few ounces. Of course, I guess when all of our brains are put into robot avatars like Ray Kurzweil wants over there at Google, we won't care anyway, right? You seen the movie End Time with Justin Timberlake where everybody's earning payments through a system where they get time to live? as their credit for payment in public, and it's on their arm in a digital code. Regina Dugan, who works at Motorola, which is owned by Google, she used to work at DARPA, and she's sitting up on stage with a barcode on her arm talking about how cool it's gonna be when we're all reduced to the information in these Mark of the Beast tattoos we're all supposed to get so we can be a part of this slave grid. Don't worry, she also made a pill you can swallow that will authenticate your body like a password. Sounds real fun, right? I wanna live in an electronic concentration camp. I failed to see anything really cool about getting a tattoo on my arm that's going to put me into a system that's going to totally screw me over in an evil, horrible way that I'm sure Satan laughs at every night before he goes to sleep. It was conceived by Satan and his minions in the fifth level of hell. So just remember that next time somebody tells you how awesome and cool it's going to be when everything's digital, because I really trust this system. If Google even lets me put this video up, am I right?